Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. So the first things that I picked up was mini muffins. I got the brownies, I got the blueberry, I got the confetti cake right there, and I picked up the chocolate chip. These are always good for snacks and to put in the lunches. So that's the first things I got. It's easier for me to do it while I'm packing it up, y'all, as opposed to taking it home then just you know put it out and all that so i got four boxes of the macaroni and cheese um that was like 43 cents you can't beat that you can put your own spin on it make it taste just as good as the craft so yeah i got four boxes of those i picked up three cans of the jumbo biscuits they were 74 cents a piece right there i like to pop these in the oven um make honey biscuits make sauce but you know what you can make with the biscuits okay I got those. I got some Pop Tarts, uh, frosted strawberry, frosted brown sugar, and cinnamon, and s'mores right here. These are for like quick. I mean, when I say quick, I mean quick breakfast. When you don't have time, you grab one of these, get you a banana, get you some type of fruit, and some orange juice, and you know, you're going out the door. I don't like to buy these too seldom because um, the children feel like they can just eat these all the time so no I like to get up and actually cook a hot breakfast when I have time so yeah I got those y'all see I'm using my Dollar Tree bags or my Dollar Somewhere bags uh huh all right so next thing is I picked up picked up some of these mini sweet peppers right here I really love these you can put these in your little recipes or you can eat them by themselves I picked up some spinach some strawberries right here some broccoli and I also picked up these breaded chicken breast patties right here we love those I got two things of the 50 cent bread you know bread that we having for 50 cent job and like 80 something 60 something but I'll be picking up the 50 cent bread right here I got two loaves of that I picked up two bags of the pretzel mini twists right here these are so good and we like these so I picked those up Okay, so I picked up some sweets. I got these mint striped fudge cookies. Sun Sun, he likes mint things like York patties and, um, you know, things that got mint in them. And then I picked up these porty size, porty size Chips Ahoy Chewy right here. And I also got some pecan shortbread cookies. And I picked up these caramel coconut fudge cookies right here. All right, I picked up two th two boxes of the instant oatmeal variety packs right here. You get 10 packs in there. I picked up some cinnamon rolls and they say air fryer ready. What? I didn't know these could go in the air fryer. I haven't really tried to cook a lot of things in the air fryer, but like meats and fries, stuff like that. But I'm going to start expanding on what I cook in the air fryer, okay? Because it, it's, it's going to put some work in, all right? So, yeah, I got those. All right, y'all. So, next I picked up some pizza snack little rolls. These are combination. Picked up some bagel pizzas. We love these. You get 36, as you can see. I picked up some rice and crust for cheese pizza. And all of these are um, Mama Cozy's items. And then I want to try this right here. Cheese stuffed crust pepperoni pizza. Y'all see that? Don't that look good? Don't that look like it would be on a, uh, what, a, a Pizza Hut commercial? Look at that. That look good. So, yeah, I want to try those. So, um, yeah. That's what I got. All right, y'all. And the last things I picked up was some taco seasoning. The taco seasoning is cheap right here uh -huh. so i got two of those and then i needed to stock back up on my uh canned goods so i picked up peas corn i usually like to buy the uh corn on the cob and just um do it myself but anyway i got the corn sweet peas i picked up a few cans of carrots a few cans of the diced tomatoes and i went ahead and got what else i get did i get any green beans yeah I didn't get any green beans. Um, I think we got a few cans of those. And then the ones that they had over there in the bags, um, they looked like they was on their way out, so I didn't get any of those. I picked up some sardines right here. I love my sardines. 
You got some in hot sauce right here, and then you have some in um, in spring water chow. So yeah, and oh, and then I got some of this extra sharp white cheddar Harvard cheese right here. It's a little cheese tray, you know. So yeah, I got some things I'm gonna do with that. Okay. All right, y'all. So that is everything that I picked up from Aldi. Now I'm gonna go over to Walmart. I won't be able to bag it up like this, okay? So I'll probably have to show you what little bit I got from Walmart when I get over there. And then I gotta go by Target too. So, mm -hmm. all right, y'all. I'll see y'all. y'all so this is how it looks now i got my little hocus pocus i need coffee to focus up here and then i still got that right there but i pulled out my wooden cutting board and i set my tear tray on there set that little pumpkin back there and then this is the sugar bowl from target that i hauled and then i got my stir sticks my boo stir sticks right there one cup is missing because i had made some tea but anywho, and my coffee is still over there. And this is still subject to change because I do something different. Like I switch it up um, quite often. So, but yeah, this is how it looks now. All right, y'all. So for today's outfit, it is going to be this tank top right here. It's like has the fallish colors, as you can see. And it comes down kind of like a um, a tunic comes down a little bit long and I'm going to put on these ripped jeans right here after I get them together and I'm gonna carry this purse right here this guest purse since it goes with everything and yeah that's going to be the fit for today y'all so we're in Kirkland's and they have their candles 
for six dollars they're three weeks they have out a lot of the fall um, scents so that is where I am at smelling these let's see which ones I need in my life they smell just as good as Bath and Body Works see six dollars no, this is good as Bath and Body Works maybe better all right y'all let me finish picking these out hey y'all so we are back my Kirk was back so I did have more candles than what I'm about to show you but I stood in line I feel a little bit too long so when that usually happens I start rethinking things and then I start deducting from my from my cart okay and putting that back so yeah that's that's what I do when I have to stand in line too long I don't care how much I wanted them uh, if I stand there more than what five ten minutes, yeah, it's a done deal. We about to start putting stuff back. Yep. But anywho, I picked up, and this wasn't even on the plan, but I thought it was really cute to sit out in the foyer, and it's just a little warmer. See, electric wax warmer right here. I thought it was really cute. It was where's my receipt? It was nineteen. 99 no yeah it was 19.99 and they had a sale going on so i got it for 14.99 so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's going to go out in the foyer and then i picked up some more of the uh scent packets right here this smells so so good now, I picked up one in there, and I, you know, I said, I didn't mean to say it out loud. <laughs> but I picked it up, and I smelled I was like, oh, no, this ain't it. And then the, um, the lady, she fell out in front. She said, yeah, that's how it is sometimes. They be putting out some stinking scents, and they expect people to put it in their home. <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness. I didn't mean to say that out loud. But anywho, I picked up this. It smells really good. These are nice to put around your home. And you know when you don't start to smell it again? Shake it up, baby. Shake it up. Shake it up like that. And then they'll start smelling again. All right. So, to the candles. To the candles. To the candles. Let me get this over. I think I had six in my shopping cart. Let me see. Six. I might have... Mm, I might have five, but I ended up with two. Okay. Anywho, so the first one I picked up is it says Volume Three Apple Crisp, and was this Macchiato, whipped coffee, caramel, and apple. It's a fourteen ounce, and as I stated, it is a three wick. Kirkland candles smell just as good and not better than Bath and Body Works. Okay, there's always a cheaper solution out there. If you're on a budget and you want affordable, good smelling candles, there's always a cheaper solution. You just got to buy and test to which one, you know, actually fits you and also actually does what it's supposed to do. Ooh, and that smells so damn good, y'all. I cannot wait. So I might go back and get the ones that I didn't get. We should. I I have to think about that. And then the next one that I picked up is this one. Love the um, packaging. It says Volume One Pumpkin Coconut with coconut milk, ginger, and sugar. And I love the way they put their uh their fragrance notes on the front. I was looking. Oh, my Lord. I kid you not. I kid you not. This smells just like some milk. I don't smell too much of everything else. But, I, well, I smell a little bit of sugar. It smells like milk and sugar. That's exactly what this candle smells like. Milk and sugar. The most. Okay. So, yeah. Those were my two, uh, well, three purchases. From four purchases, girl. Get it together. Four. Four purchases. There they go. <laughs> My four purchases from uh Kirkland, y'all. I would have had more, but they that, that line got Burlington doing a little bit of fall shopping. And this is a pretty wreath right here. I wanted something with orange in there, but how much is it? Uh, $24.99. Same like at the Walmart. 
This one is $19.99 right there. I wanted something this year with orange, but if I don't find it, then I have um, I probably will DIY the wreath that I have. This is pretty. Hello, pumpkin. $7.99. That one's pretty too back there. Pumpkin citrus candle. $9.99. Got a few, few things left. Doesn't look like you know, uh, too much has been picked over. I want to go find the full fall. Steve Madden purse right here. Ooh, she cute for fall. I think I might have to have that. Look. I like that. Put that right there. It's real cute. What are the purses they got in here? It looks like all the purses and bags have been picked over. That's a Steve Madden crossbody. $27.99. Honey, since that last one went viral, Steve Madden, uh, I mean, it was already kind of, I ain't gonna say high, but, uh, they cost, they cost it a couple dollars, okay? Alright, I'm seeing anything over here. The juice is kind of cute, but I'm, I'm trying to get out of black and things. Right. Got this juicy couture $29.99. Here's another Steve Madden right here. It's cute too. The juicy couture right here. $19.99. Oh, this is cute. Danny Nicole. I thought it was Minnie, uh, Mickey Mouse or Minnie. Is it Mickey? Oh, that is cute. I have to go in the Steve buggy. Madden. It has this chain on it right here. Now that's cute. How much is that one? That's $27.99. And this is $29.99. Oh my goodness, choices. But this don't have no chain on it. But it's cute. Let me see. I don't need no more purses, y'all. I could have it mother and daughter time. And they uh, doing their thing. And son, son with his daddy, they doing their thing. And so, yeah, mama is just like everywhere in here. <laughs> Trying to see what I can see. What is this? Castor oil, biotin, hair, face, and body. Is that? Do I need that? Look, prevent hair breakage, hydrating formula, balanced skin. You know, castor oil is supposed to be good for, um, like they said, the hair, face, and body. And it's also good when you do like a, a cleanse with it as well, you know, by mouth. You know, because it'll clean you out. Okay. Um, it says 100% USP pure. I think I'm going to get that. So I was just talking about that, like something for my edges and stuff, because I've been pulling my hair back a lot, and yeah, I'm going to have to get that together a little bit, a little bit. All right, let me get over here. I don't need anything from over here, y'all, if I can... They got their coats out. Ooh. I'm going to see what I can find. Sun, sun, look. I'm that mother. I'll put my stuff back just so my babies can have, you know, what they need. Put me on the back burner. Yep. I'm one of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh... Now, I want this buggy getting on my nerve. Good Lord. Y'all, so I'm over here in the boys' clothes. Looking to see what they have out. You know, Burlington always have affordable clothes. <clears throat> like this um, DKNY. Where did the price go? $14.99. This little zip-up right here. Zip-up hoodie. I thought that was cute. And look at these Adidas. This got a hoodie on it. Sunset light hoodie. <laughs> look, 
ain't that fire? Oh my goodness. And it is $12.99. Y'all see that? So that's what I'm doing. I'm finding Sun Sun some stuff. Because I got some nice clothes out. You got to get them while you see them because it's selling. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we in Buffalo Wild Wings. The girls. Chicken wings, lemon pepper, yeah, all flats, y'all. Then here's my burger right here. All American cheeseburger. Everybody got their food. But there, there, and there. <laughs> all right, y'all. See y'all when I get through. All right, y'all. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to be making a pot roast in the crock pot. Here is my meat right here. I'm going to go ahead and get that washed off. And then I also purchased some baby red potatoes. We love these when I make the pot roast and things like that. I also got some of the baby cut carrots, as you can see right here, organic like those as well i was gonna chop them up but i decided to go ahead and leave them like they are honey doing too much <laughs> and then i also purchased some onions i always got to have me some onions in some type of crock pot meal um yeah it just gives it more flavor so here i have washed the meat off i chopped up some onions as you can see and i washed off my carrots and my baby red potatoes so here I'm putting my pot roast in my crock pot right here. I have decided to go ahead and cook this on high for four hours. I got a late start or if you get an early start, you can cook it on um, low for eight hours. So I'm going to be using this little packet pot roast seasoning mix right here, honey. These things come in handy when you ain't got time to be doing all that extra stuff and you in a real hurry. So I'm going to use this, all right? You mix it with um, some water. You just read the directions, honey, okay? And so, yeah, I mix mine with some water and this is how it's looking. Now, prior to this, I went ahead and seasoned um, my own little, you know, put a couple of things on there like parsley, some Cezanne. I love my Cezanne on everything that I, I eat, okay? So, parsley, Cezanne, and I put a little bit of um, black pepper seasoning on there prior to me putting this pot roast seasoning mix in there. And so, I'm just pouring it over there. Looks like that. It will thicken up a little bit as it cooks, but that's how it's looking right now. So what I'm going to do is put in my uh, carrots and my baby red potatoes. As you see right here, it just gives it like a colorful look. I absolutely love how it looks right there. Now, different people cook different ways, okay? So if you got a way that you cook your pot roast, more power to you. This is how Brown Eyes makes her pot roast, um, you know, every now and again. I do have another way that I make it as well. But like I said, I was in a rush for today. I've been doing a lot. So this is was the easiest way for me um, right now. So I've already chopped up my onions. And so I'm going to go ahead and add them in as well. Look, y'all, everything is coming together. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just like mix everything up together. So, you know, it'll be all over the crock pot in, in different places. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to cook this on high for four hours, and it'll be ready um, in a little while. And then, yeah, that will be it for that. And I'll probably serve it with some rice as well as um, some hot Hawaiian sweet rolls. We love those. I didn't get any cornbread this time because I feel like we eat cornbread all the time. Okay, so I just said rolls so for tonight. Rolls is cooking, I wanted to show y'all what I picked up Um, because we're going to be doing these coming up real soon. We're going to have some little festivities going on with my babies. You know how we do over here. So um, I picked up the Haunted Village cookie kit right here. They have out so many different kits to choose from. They even got little uh, woodland animals um, and uh, sugar skull things to, you know, create how you want to so i picked up that that's the village and then i picked up the sugar skull uh kit right here and then i picked up the brownie uh graveyard brownie kit right here we ain't gonna be writing a rest in peace but we gonna be writing boo or something else we ain't no we ain't see we ain't finna go out like that <laughs> 
we're going to put some boo on there and something else other than R.I.P. But I just wanted to show y'all that uh, I got some fun things for us to do. Because we like to do things like these. And it was really hard for the children to um, figure out which ones they want. And I still might go back and get another, um, you know, bigger kit. Some type of bigger kit or a cookie kit or something. Um, but for now, we're going to rock with these right here. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all momentarily. All right, y'all. So the first thing that I picked up at the Goodwill was this cute little Target um fall side right here of course it says autumn harvest pumpkins apples and hay rides it was initially five dollars at target but i got it for 2.99 at the goodwill and i absolutely love it i mean it was just sitting there y'all and you know how it goes what god has for you is for you and it was just literally sitting there like come and get me and put me in your house for some fall decor and i was like you know what let me get it <laughs> <laughs> so I picked it up and I absolutely love it. I got that. Okay, y'all. So then I found these little soap dispensers or whatever you would like to put in there. I thought these were really, really cute. And these are like in a, a mint color, I guess. And they have like silver um, hardware on there or pump or whatever you want to call it, honey. Okay. And it says essential home. I'm wondering if these came from uh, Walmart because I believe they be having essential home if I'm not mistaken. Anywho, I had spotted one first and it was $2.99. I spotted one first and I was like, let me go ahead and get this. And you know, I usually walk around and just put things in my cart, you know, and then I decide as I'm walking around. So that's what I did with this. So I put it in the cart and then on the other side, I found this one right here. I was like, you know what? Those were meant for me. Yes, I absolutely love those. So I got those. And then I picked this up right here. Now, Target, as of right now, they have some of these in their store. It is a, um, what they call salvage because something was wrong with it. It does have like the little uh, faux leather or leather a uh, band that goes around it. I do have it, but the reason why it was salvaged is because like one of the screws came out, one of the tiny screws came out the band, which ain't no thing but a chicken wing because I'll go out there in the um laundry room and look up in the cabinet and get one and pop it in. Okay. But anywho, they were like five dollars at Target and I got it for two ninety nine. Is it two ninety nine? No, two forty nine. $2.49 from the Goodwill. And of course, I'm going to pop like maybe um, an LED candle in here and, you know, light it up. Or or I might pop some eucalyptus in here and set it on uh, my counter somewhere. So, yeah, those are two things that I might do one of those. Okay. And so the last thing that I got myself was this shirt right here. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? So, I'm not too familiar with Gucci because it's not a uh, um, brand that I purchase a lot like that. And so, what I'm going to say is, whether it's real or fake, your girl going to support it, okay? I'm already going to get me some, um, what is this? What's this color, child? Is this brown? Whatever color this is, tights, okay? Leggings or whatever. And I'm going to rock this with some fancy cute heels, Real or fake, all right. But when I seen it, I was walking by and I was like, Hold up now, that look like Gucci. Because I look, I may not be familiar with all my name brands like that, but I can spot a name brand in a second, okay. <laughs> and I seen that just standing out there, it, it's like it was just, just sitting there. I was like, Gucci, hold up now, hold up. I can spot it from a mile away, okay? And so I said, let me go on and put this in the car, honey. We'll inspect it later and find out everything we need to find out about later. Um, Now, I have seen some Gucci shirts uh, that has, like, the planet on it like this. However, they look like it's um, embroidered into the shirt. It's not like this one right here, and I haven't found this particular shirt online. Um, but I have seen the, um, what is this? L, 
Avagul or whatever that is. I have seen a lot of that on Gucci shirts and things like that. And the Par Amour on there too. But um, like I said, I'm not really familiar with Gucci like that. But I can spot it a mile away. You understand what I'm saying? But her, uh, yeah, real fake. Like I said, I'm still going to rock it 449. You can't beat it. Throw it in there, pair it up with some cute leggings or some um jeans or something and some cute heels and go on about your business, honey. Okay. So yeah, I was super excited to put this in the um in the shopping cart, y'all. Super excited. And look, 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 hubby talking about it. we both gonna sport. No, we not. <laughs> We both ain't seen it. We both ain't gonna put it on. No, we not. Look, look. Get some Wednesday down. <laughs> y'all, we be messing all the time. But yeah, y'all, that's my little haul. The only other things um, that was purchased was like clothes, jeans. Uh, my daughter's picked up some jeans and heavy got some jeans and some Ralph Lauren polo uh, uh, checkered shorts or something like that and some other stuff. So, yeah. But this is my little haul. This is my little haul that I'm happy about. Okay? Alright, y'all. I'll see y'all next clip. Alright, so my rice is done. My pot roast is done. Everything smells so good. Everything is real tender. So, I'm just going to go ahead and scoop some out and put it over the rice. That's what I said I was going to pair it with. I did go ahead and throw some peas in there. I just felt like it was missing some type of green, okay, other than the celery. I wanted to go ahead and put another vegetable in there. So I'm just going ahead and putting it over the rice right here. Y'all, it smells so daggone good. And I haven't had pot roast in a minute. So I'm super excited to get into this. So yeah, I'm just, you know, putting everything together. All right, y'all, that is how it's looking. And like I said, I'm serving this with some Hawaiian sweet rolls, and we're going to call it a night. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and supporting my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, y'all.